went to my favorite apothecary. The real deal. There's an apothecary in a small town near me, and I went inside of it, and it was more like a gift shop. And I was like, no, you don't understand what a real apothecary is. <sighs> Worth the drive right there. Got my favorite vanilla perfume. That's what I always smell like. Someone once told me I smell like cookies. It's just this $20 vanilla perfume. I think it's from France. Anyway, they import it. Now I'm walking down one of my favorite streets. When I lived in Chicago, I always wanted to own a, this was like a big dream, one of these row houses. I knew I never would, but <laughs> like a million dollar house. I think even if I had a, a significant other who loved money or earning money, I wouldn't be able to like help him hold whatever compass that would lead, like whatever compass it requires internally to keep moving towards million dollar dreams. I don't think I would be the right partner to motivate that so hmm. I was like what's on my nose <laughs> it's from my, my elastic built-in mask in my sweatshirt <laughs> See, I'm pretty excited about my Garcia's half a burrito walking to my car I think right when Brian and I were early dating, I had mentioned wanting a Chicago house someday. And not even these really nice ones, just like a small one. And they kind of like start at 500000 for a tiny house in this neighborhood. So. And then go way up from there. So these are probably way over a million. So his idea back when I said that to him was like, well, why wouldn't you want to get a $200,000 house? or less somewhere in Michigan or just anywhere outside of a city and then use the extra money to like, you know, drive to Chicago or fly to LA or New York and have riding retreats. <laughs> this mask nose thing is hilarious. Feeling really nice in the sun. So at first I was like, ugh, terrible idea, Brian, no way. And then I started considering it, but I realized a really big deal breaker from it was if I live three hours from the closest city that I want to be in and uh, no offense but Grand Rapids doesn't quite count because um, for me to be the kind of city that I love you need to have a really epic uh, transportation system like the L in Chicago or the subway in New York City or the tube in London um, Paris same thing those are the kinds of cities that I guess feel like home to me, which is weird because I grew up in a town um, not that size. But Racine, Wisconsin was between Milwaukee and Chicago and these two places, especially Chicago, were always kind of the destination. You know, like, oh, we're gonna go to Chicago. Oh, train, see. So, and some people maybe would think, well, I don't wanna live the train running in my backyard and maybe I wouldn't like it if I did it but I don't know it never really bothered me here being right on top of noise and trains anyway crossing the street I used to have my piano recitals at the church just around the corner like one block over from here um, that was when I lived that would be like 2006 to maybe 2011 I lived in this neighborhood. <laughs> well, and now I'm walking over because I just saw, spotted it across the street. My favorite house. This was always my favorite one, I think. 2205. But, you know, like, and that one's for sale. 2212. It's my lucky number, too. But do I think that means that I need to have some million dollar dream now? There's another one down the street, like two doors down, too, and it's the the white kind, I think they called it graystone. And they're just kind of like a false facade too. Here, I'll show you. This is a Chicago graystone where the front is gray but then the side is like, you know, not like London. <laughs> London, oh sorry, London uh, houses often look like that graystone or this front, but it's just a facade here. <laughs> Oh, even this one's a facade, the one I liked. I never knew that. Whatever. I think I think
think I entertained myself by dreaming when I lived here. Ooh, the other side of the street was much sunnier. A lot of people are walking around with their masks on. I was following the trend, but if there's absolutely nobody around, um, I feel okay having that on. But, aw, I love it. Taught a student two blocks that way. She was an adult student. I thought that was pretty cool that she valued and paid for piano lessons. Oh. <laughs> Students let me go. Anyway, um, I miss this city. I miss the way it smells. I mean, it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell like fresh air, like, like being hours away from a big city in Michigan does, but it still smells like, I don't know, crisp? Maybe. I just always liked city houses. I think it doesn't smell good to me and I probably had like um, breathing issues or whatever from living somewhere like this. But the same way like where I live now is like this like super naturey place. But we got a notice in the mail like a year ago that like our connector pipes at the source. Well, I don't know. That's depressing. Maybe I shouldn't say that in case my mom watches this. <laughs> I'll just say it. <laughs> no, I won't say it. <laughs> anyway, that one's cute. Just always really liked Chicago houses. Anyway, I feel like they're a good mix of city and not city. Like, it almost looks like certain neighborhoods in Racine, Wisconsin. Just like a little more dense, a little more on top of each other. And obviously those were like a hundred or two hundred thousand and these are like a million. Location is everything. <laughs> but, that's okay. Um, I'm almost to my car, my van. My tour van. Solid tour 2021. Um, I maybe would have never bought a minivan. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. All right. Well, thanks, Leland. Love this street. Leland right off of Lincoln. I'm right by Hamilton now, where I parked, and I'm going to go. Love you, Chicago. <laughs>